Hello friends, this is Durga again uh, from Technology Mentors uh, slash uh, IT Versity and in this video I will be covering uh, um, uh, a concept called SSH tunneling, uh, uh, five, uh, SSH tunneling Foxy Proxy uh, for the playlist of Amazon Web Services. So let me get into the details. So um, as we have seen, we have already set up SSH uh, 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 for uh, to, to access our uh, instances that are provisioned uh, using AWS, and uh, um, and also I have covered about uh, uh, private IPs, public IPs, uh, and also elastic IPs briefly. And uh, as, I, as I have mentioned earlier. Using elastic IPs have two issues. One is uh, 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 using public IPs, especially if it is elastic IP. Uh, the issue is uh, that each elastic IP, uh, which is also public, will cost you six dollars per month. And in a larger, in a medium-sized enterprise, if they have uh, hundreds of uh, AWS instances provisioned, uh, it incurs cost of six dollars per month, which can be uh, huge over time. And also, uh, even if you not you if you are not using elastic IPs and if you are just using public IPs which are free, uh, the problem is th they will be changing over time. And also, your servers will be uh, all your servers uh, in AWS will be exposed to the public, which is not good. Uh, so for that reason, we should avoid uh, public IPs uh, um, and uh, elastic IPs um, and try to leverage uh, private IPs as much as possible and uh, have an elastic IP for uh, bastion servers and uh, to connect to the private IPs we have a concept called SSH forwarding which will be covered in a different video and in this one I will be covering a concept called SSH tunneling or foxy proxy uh, where you can access the web applications running on these uh, private IPs uh, using IP addresses like this 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 etc. So um, now why we need to have web applications for example if you think about any uh, any big data clusters like hadoop cassandra and all those things they are distributed systems each one will have um, uh, each one will have uh, will generate logs and those logs have to be accessible uh, from uh, uh, for us to uh, to troubleshoot the issues and uh, also when we set up the cluster we will use private IPs and uh, at times when you try to navigate uh, in our cluster it will redirect to the web applications that are running uh, um, using private IPs and uh, unless you uh, uh, by default they are not accessible one way to do is uh, one way to overcome that issue is to set up foxy proxy and uh, enable SSH tunneling uh, through bastion server and then you can you will be able to access web applications on uh, uh, hosts that are using only private IPs. So let's go through the steps. Yes. There are multiple ways to do uh, do this, and uh, the most standard way is I'm sorry. The standard way of doing it is. Let me copy this link is to download something called foxy proxy plugin and then you have to create xml file with pro foxy proxy settings and you have to import that uh, uh, to plugin and uh, you have to keep it disabled un uh, unless you you have ssh tunneling on otherwise you will not be able to access internet it is a very very important uh, point you need to uh, keep in mind so let me open chrome i will be showing uh, foxy proxy for chrome so i opened chrome and you can go to this uh, link and foxy proxy is not just limited to aws it it uh, it is standard for uh, uh, many of the uh, cloud platforms whether it is uh, uh, google cloud or uh, microsoft azure uh, anywhere you, uh, you have the private ips you you can you can have uh, ssh tunneling and foxy proxy on so here there are several uh, uh, things which you can uh, look at as I mentioned to you uh, in the presentation also there are multiple ways to do this but I will be showing uh, uh, config configuring using web browser especially Chrome. You can click on this link and um, uh, the same steps which I have highlighted there is displayed here 
and uh, uh, you have to click on this link and uh, download for the Chrome and better, best version uh, which is free is Foxy Proxy Standard and you can click on free download and this this can be this can be used uh, uh, either in Windows laptop or uh, in uh, or in a Mac. The same steps can be followed, but the steps uh, here are primarily Chrome and uh, Firefox. But there is a way to set up for Windows also. So once it is set up, you will see the Foxy proxy icon here for Chrome. If it is Firefox, you will see it here. Okay and uh, now the foxy proxy is downloaded now you have to set it up um, uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, you have to set it up for aws for that you have to copy this content and paste it to uh, text editor and you have to save it as a file uh, somewhere in your pc so i will be opening sublime text for that and here I have pasted and uh, I have saved as foxy proxy settings aws.xml uh, in my home directory. And uh, uh, one thing you need to keep in mind is uh, this is primarily a template for AWS uh, which can be usable out of the box. But if you want to restrict or if you want to open up uh, further, you can play with this template and uh, uh, make it working. And one more thing you, you need to notice this port number which we'll be using for SSH tunneling. Once you save it, go to your Firefox, sorry, Chrome or Firefox, whatever you are trying to set up Foxy Proxy. Click on this icon and you will see three uh, links which comes out of the box of Foxy Proxy. And now we have to add AWS plugin, uh, sorry, AWS configuration file so that we, we can enable for, uh, proxy for uh, uh, AWS. Here you have to click import export click on choose file and click on this foxy proxy settings aws.xml which I have just created click on open and here as we are doing for the first time you can safely click on add I don't know much uh, uh, about how this will behave if I click on replace if you already have the file I never did that so far uh, click on add and once it is added it will show up here and as I have mentioned you should not uh, click on that until tunneling is enabled now let us see how tunneling can be enabled. So tunneling can be enabled by running command called ssh-i um, and I have to give the path of my pem file and then I have to give a subparameters called minus capital N D uh, minus capital N and capital D and then I have to give the port number. This port number should match uh, the one which is in the XML file and then you can give the username and at and then you have to get the ip address public ip for our gateway node okay i copy pasted it and when you hit enter it will hang like this okay as long as it is hung only till that time you can actually uh, tunnel through this uh, to uh, to access the web applications running on uh, our uh, uh, EC2 instances on AWS um, uh, with private IPs associated with them. So now Foxy Proxy is running and sorry SSH tunneling is running and Foxy Proxy is configured. Now you can choose this and to validate whether it is working you just uh, try any public website and if the website comes up without any issues that means our configuration is done and uh, SSH tunneling is also successful. Now let us test uh, how we can access the web application running using private IP. For that what I am trying to do is I have only one instance up and running in AWS but still we can actually simulate that. Let me show my AWS instance. Uh, so only one instance is up and running and for this public IP is this one. So uh, first let me create a web application. Let me uh, disable this uh, foxy proxy and let me set up web, web application. Already I have HTTP server running on this.
already uh, HCP server is running on this. We will just uh, create a simple uh, uh, a simple file. Okay, now we logged in. Uh, a simple uh, HTML file and uh, we, uh, we will try to um, access it and uh, test it with private IP before uh, enabling the Foxy proxy and also we will test it after enabling the Foxy proxy. For that, I have to cat my where www So this is my document rot. Uh, sorry, uh, document. So I have to get the document root from httpd cons file. So where www. Sorry, httpd cons file will be under etc. Httpd cons. And you can see that this is the document root. So you, you have to go here and create a uh, XML file okay and uh, sudo vi index.html and let me say hello world testing ssh foxy proxy okay now we uh, we have successfully created an index.html file and also let us validate whether our httpd service is running or not service httpd status so it is saying uh, let me see I think it is running. I have to run the command using sudo. Yeah, it is running. So let me try sudo service httpd status and it is running. So httpd is running. If you have not uh, 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 set up httpd yet, uh, http service yet, I think I already have in my YouTube channel um, uh, for Amazon Web Services you can go ahead and uh, uh, take care of it so my channel I'm sorry click on playlist of amazon web services and uh, there is a uh, uh, video to set up httpd already okay so you can watch this video and uh, it comes after this in the series but uh, if you have uh, if you have other uh, web server you can uh, e even use that without httpd so httpd is not mandatory web application running on that instance is mandatory okay and now uh, uh, it, we have validated that and uh, let's go to the browser and uh, use the public ip which is this one and uh, then type HTTP here either you can give slash index.html or you can uh, remove that also or default the web application uh, using HTTPD will read index.html file if it is available and uh, if you see the content says whatever we have typed in that index.html uh, file okay now let us try with private IP So it is hung it is not working let us try in a new one to avoid confusion okay i have closed that and I typing a new one and it is actually looking for it and it will take for it will try for some time and then it will fail saying page not found error uh, page not found or some other issue okay now that being said See, it failed saying the web page is not available now that being said let's validate whether our SSH tunneling is on it is on so now let us enable the foxy proxy here 
uh, for our AWS which is EMR SOX proxy and now let us hit enter and you can see that hello world testing SSH proxy proxy. So this is the power of SSH tunneling. So you don't need to have multiple instances to test it. The same instance you can uh, uh, test it using the private IP and public IP to make sure uh, whether our SSH tunneling with Foxy Proxy is working or not. And this is a very important video and uh, you will uh, see it, uh, the use of it when we actually set up uh, uh, the big data clusters and, uh, and uh, probably in other areas as well. Uh, because I will be demonstrating most of the stuff using AWS in my channel. So I hope you are enjoying the content of my channel. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And if you like the videos, please click on like. And if you want to post a comment, feel free to do so. Uh, thank you. Bye.